Good morning, good morning. It is Easter morning and I got to bed late, probably like three, after three in the morning. I probably didn't fall asleep until about 3.30 and then Roger woke me up before nine. He's in one of those moods, guys. So, what is everybody doing for Easter? I realize it's after Easter. I'm starting off with my cup of ginger tea this morning. Ginger tea is really good if you have a swelling. Um, for people that have like uh, MS, fibro, Lyme, so on. And yes, that's the way to start the day. I did start mopping down the stairs, but I had to sit down for a little bit of a break until I woke up more because I'm really tipsy because I got a lot of swelling going on up in here. Because I was on my feet all day yesterday, making sure everything was clean and everything was caught up and... I basically did my spring cleaning and holiday cleaning all in one day, yay me. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing pretty soon is making deviled eggs. Because Dakota goes with her grandparents on Easter vacation, the eggs just sit around that she colored and she doesn't really care for them anyways. So what I do is I take and I peel those on Easter morning and I make deviled eggs with them. She doesn't even really care for deviled eggs. Um, the ZD, all I have to do is put the mozzarella cheese on the top because I ran it through it yesterday along with the ricotta and stuff and the sausage and the whole nine yards. So all I've got to do is put the cheese on top, heat that up, make a ham and make the mashed potatoes and the cabbage. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to heat up the corn on the cob because I got frozen corn on the cob and truthfully I just throw it in the microwave. I've got my little things of candy all over the place. Now, my one son, my oldest one, is not a big candy eater. But he always commented on how I used to get these little egg things when he was a little kid. Of course, he's 30 now. So, I made sure that I picked a few of those up and I put out some of my Easter candy that I picked up yesterday so people can dig through that and munch on it. This is the first year Seth did not get an Easter basket. I usually do it until they're about 18, but there's always candy and sugar all over the place. And he's not a huge candy eater either. He's more of a pastry eater. And what else do we got going on here? That's about it right now. So I think I am going to start the deviled eggs finish up mopping the front stairs and do the devil. On my eggs. kitchen table I just stayed simple. I threw down my Irish linen that is uh, family material that was my mom's. It came from Ireland and I just took and I put some pink little gems on there. Those leftover pink gems from the thing. One of the eggs that I did quite a few years back. I just sat it on there. I've got to put some Little pins in the bottom of it. And, of course, my M&M's. Nothing really Over overkill. here on top of the mantle, I kept it kind of simple. Um, I just had the bird and, you know, the little eggs that I had done a few years back. And, uh, yeah, just my typical stuff still in there. And this thing, I put some of those gems that were pre-stickered on the back, but... They don't seem to be wanting to stay on there too well, so I've got to go and fix that up. And I just stuck some sparkly eggs in there. And this has been sitting here since the holidays, so I just set it on top of that. Yes, for the table. Table. Well, I didn't see any, like, holiday stuff that fit my big table, so I just got one of those cheap plastic tables with Easter eggs in it. And I kept... Those decorations that I already had on there. I didn't really go overkill this year as far as, like, doing decorations and stuff. Just simple plates, you know. They've got bowls over there for, like, extras. I brought out some of the fountain for the toothpicks and my little Easter egg salt. And I love my Easter egg. I can't even talk. Chicky salt and pepper shakers and holiday stuff, you know, just... Some little things, a little candy dish with some chocolates in them, and now I'm gonna go and take and put the candy in that round purple thing that you saw earlier. 
This room is going to be getting a paint job here very soon. I can't wait until it is all done. I'm going to stick some of that candy in there. I have these little things that I got some extra candies in. I'm going to take and put some Easter grass in here. And because they're not in any kind of really fancy dish, I'll probably just leave them right in the basket itself. So they're just there in case anybody wants any kind of chocolate. I always have packages of Easter grass and stuff like that for baskets. I buy it after Easter in case I'm doing raffle baskets and stuff. So, yeah, throw that in there. Probably just throw some of the candy in there like that. Back the way I had it. Give it a little bit of an Easter effect. And yeah, that's looking good. So I am prepping the deviled eggs on those little Easter plates. Um, hopefully I don't have an egg reaction. I avoided eggs for the last week and a half with this Bartonella lime thing. Oh my goodness. Um, I could be eating eggs and all of a sudden I get weak and feel like I'm going to collapse. And then I want to vomit instantly. So with any luck, I won't be feeling that today. Here in New York, the only kind of mayonnaise that's good is Hellman's. We don't do craft. We don't do any of that other stuff. It's strictly Hellman's. Now, I will say one thing about ham. I am a person that likes ham that comes with a bone. I do not like spiral cut ham. I find that it tends to dry out, but I did find a way to make a ham stay juicy, even if it's a spiral ham. If you wrap your ham in tin foil. You know, I put tin foil around the whole ham, not tent it over the top. But if you take and you put it in tin foil and you bake it for a couple of hours, you know, on a medium heat if they're pre-cooked. You know, the last half an hour or so, take it out, put your drizzling stuff on it, unless you're putting on like uh, pineapple or something. And it will... You know, you could take the tin foil off at that point and just put like a tent over over the top. It will come out tasting so juicy and so so good and not dried out. Happy in the least. Easter, Seth Mitchell. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Mr. Slave. <laughs> Happy Easter. And they're starting to eat slowly, one by one. Roger behind the flowers. Yes, it is. I saw pink and I had to have him. And we have BG on his phone. Oh, no, Seth's phone. Seth's phone. Who's there? Brian the Salt King. That was Roger letting out the air. <laughs> Not as good as the stuff you make, but <laughs> Roger was here. It's a good thing that we had like a couple of things here. He still made it up. It's extremely so we came hot. outside for a little bit to cool off because it was so hot inside. And now we hit a little bit of a sprinkly rain, so it feels nice. Hey, gee, hi, Notch. So, Easter is officially over, and having only a few hours sleep last night, I am exhausted. Uh, went over well. You know, the two older kids came over. Dakota stopped in for a little bit to show her new hairstyle and show off her Easter stuff. She was <coughs> all dressed up in her Easter dress and stuff and went to church and did her thing and went to her aunt's afterwards for dinner. Um, his mom, Roger's mom, dropped off some cinnamon buns and of course, you know, you saw who came and we ate and stuff. I didn't really eat a lot at first. Unfortunately, I started eating at quarter after 10 tonight. My downfall. <laughs> So I am going to close this video here because I am exhausted. Yes, I am. And friend's got a... So, I can't even talk. I'm so tired. Seth has his friend Brandon here, and it's 1130 at night. I don't know if he plans on having him spend the night or what. 
and um, they have no school this week. And I don't know what's going on with me. I've got the one doctor's appointment at the end of the week. Or no, I don't. Actually, I take that back. That's next week. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see what this week brings. Okay, guys, I hope everybody had a fabulous Easter, and I am off to bed. Have a great one.